2K23's release is right around the corner. Today, we are going through a lot of new details that have come up, everything from the scheduled release of more information regarding the game modes, new screenshots, new trailer. We got a ton of stuff to go through today. Let's get started. Welcome to the show, everybody. I'm Matt, good to have you here. Let's talk 2K23. A lot of news has come out over the course of the last few days regarding the game. The first thing that we wanna talk about is going to be the new trailer for the Icon Edition, specifically for the Ruthless Aggression Pack. That is in the Icon Edition. Remember, the Icon Edition is sold digital only, which is a bummer, much like they did with the NWO Edition for 2K22. The biggest thing for the Icon Edition is getting that Ruthless Aggression Pack where you are getting the following superstars. 2K released this trailer where we're getting prototype John Cena, Randy Orton, Brock Lesnar, and Leviathan Batista. Based on this tiny little trailer, let me know your thoughts, but I think prototype Cena looks pretty good. We're getting a lot of Brock Lesnar's in this game, by the way. I like that we're getting young version of Randy Orton from his debut. I hope it means that we're getting all of their proper entrances as well as their Titan Trons and their entrance music to go along with it. This question does come up a lot regarding the value of getting this pack. Should I get the Icon Edition? Or should I just get the Deluxe Edition? If you really have your heart set on getting these superstars, that's the biggest draw for the Icon Edition. Otherwise, it's just got some My Faction cards that are included. If you're on the fence about it, I'd probably just get the Deluxe Edition. You could also pick up this pack separately after the game's release. They did this with 2K22 with the NWO Edition. You were able to pick up the NWO characters as a separate standalone pack like two, three months after the game was released. Now, speaking of release, the game is coming out early access March 14th. And before that, we are gonna be seeing a lot of reveals and updates for the game. Starting on Tuesday, March the 7th, we are gonna find out about the characters. We're gonna find out more about the environments, which to me kind of sounds like we're gonna hear about backstage and any improvements and updates we have there. They're gonna talk about play and the creation suite. We have some screenshots to go through in just a little bit. I'm happy they've got creation suite on here. Hopefully that there's gonna be like body morphing. There's more texture details. The devs did talk about how creation suite is going to be really updated this year to be on par with the in-game models. So I'm excited for creators out there that are gonna get their hands on this. And hopefully it means we're gonna get some top notch creation. March the 8th is my faction and my rise. If you care at all about my faction, you're gonna get some updates there. We do know that my faction is going to have online multiplayer support this year, but I just want to see what this mode is going to look like and what changes they have made to make it easier or just more enticing for fans to really play because I didn't have much incentive last year. With the inclusion of my rise on March the 8th, I'm excited to see what we're going to get because 2K did mention we were going to get two distinctive storylines for both the men's and the women's side when it comes to my rise. Just more curious about what it looks like and what the story arcs are going to be throughout this if it's going to be very much like 2K22, which for a lot of people got a little bit repetitive, a little long in the tooth. So hopefully it's gonna be scaled back, it's gonna be dialed in a little bit more this year. On Thursday, March the 9th, we're finally gonna hear about Universe Mode and my GM. I hope it's gonna be some real footage showing, capturing Universe Mode that changes the updates and same with my GM. Those are the two modes I'm most excited for to see. And then on March the 10th, they're gonna talk a little bit more regarding 2K Showcase. For the 2K community, 2K Next makers, they're under embargo right now and they're gonna be revealing footage in the updates, basically alongside all of these reveals. So make sure you go and check out all those creators too because they're gonna have a ton of stuff posted and give us a ton of more information regarding all these updates every single day. Now with that 2K community event, 2K did a trailer just to show off the event, everyone having a lot of fun, but the internet went wild, brother, and they started grabbing every little screenshot they could for all of the little things and little details that they had regarding the game. The first one we have here is showing off the creation tab and that menu where you're gonna have community creations, advanced entrance creator and more. And on the right hand side, you can see them trying to create a superstar, create a custom superstar. We will get more official information obviously once this thing really comes out, but I hope the feedback is positive about creation suite. I hope that there's gonna be body morphing in there too, because I know that was something that a lot of creators were hoping for. We got another screenshot showing off the menu we saw a little bit of this last week, but now we can see that we have Xavier Woods as part of the My GM. He's gonna be on the cover for that. You got My Faction. You've got Play with Roman Reigns on the cover there and John Cena Showcase. We got another image, this one of doing the selection for the matches themselves. This one looking like Hulk Hogan is being selected in the WrestleMania arena. And once again, on the opposite side in the other screen, you can see more for the selection for the creation suite. The next image gives us a great look of the full menu for 2K23. And if you look to the right of this, you can see the arena shot, and this could be Crown Jewel or Elimination Chamber. 
So I love the community is going in, they're dissecting this, trying to find everything they can. But we are gonna get a lot more updates all next week with the game and I'll have everything covered here too on the channel. And not only are those screenshots making the rounds, but we also have this image that was brought to my attention and it looks to be the, well, talking points regarding the game. This could be for part of the embargo, but it does have some interesting points made here. For the main roster, it says that there are 187 superstars on the main roster, Raw, SmackDown, NXT, and The Legends. There's over 265 updated ring and entrance attires, over 100 new and updated hairstyles, 101 new scans, including superstars, My Rise, and Create a Superstar, and full historically accurate entrance models for all matches, which is new for 2K23. They also mentioned 14 John Cena models are going to be in the game with 14 opponents. That's a lot of John Cena's. That does sound like it's going to be what we had with Rey Mysterio in 2K22. We're going to have 14 slots of John Cena. That's a, that's a lot of people you can't see. They also mentioned there's male and female muscle deformation improvements. So when arms are raised, you can see the pectoral muscles and back muscles move more naturally than previous titles. I do recall seeing this a little bit. Number one, with the quick video trailer we had of The Rock, where he's on stage, you can see there's a little bit more of muscle movement. And I noticed this with the Rhea Ripley Judgment Day entrance, Damian Priest specifically, when he is raising his arms up, it really looks like you can tell all of the muscle definition in his arms. If that's the case and they're bringing that in there, I think that's a really cool little detail. Not only will it look good for their entrances, but in the matches themselves too. And the last piece here is that there's new ring announcer, Mike Rome, recorded over 25 hours for his debut in 2K23. It would be all of the announcing for all of the superstars and for their victories too. Now they mentioned 187 superstars across all the rosters and legends. 2K22's full roster list with the DLC and everything was 228. That's according to SmackDown Hotel, which has got all the breakdowns of all the numbers. So with the DLC coming in, we should be looking at a really healthy roster this year. This is something the devs in interviews did mention, was that we are gonna see a pretty big roster, an expansive roster across folks for DLC, the legends from the DLC. I wonder if the DLC packs themselves this year are gonna be even bigger than last year. I really hope that is the case. I like to see them improve it and increase it to like seven, eight stars you're gonna get in a pack because that just drives more value for fans. Another piece of info that came out was coming from the creator, It's My Yard. They posted this online, which is gonna be the pre-order sleeves the retailers are gonna use to promote the game. And obviously you can see the pre-order bonuses on the front with John Cena, and the back gives us some details regarding the modes in the game. We know about the 2K showcase. The section on you hold all the cards is relating to my faction, and they do mention that they're featuring online multiplayer now. For My Rise, they say here that they're gonna have two distinct storylines for My Rise. They obviously mentioned War Games, which is gonna be 3v3 or 4v4 multiplayer. For Universe Mode, they simply just mentioned that it's gonna be the sandbox. You put all your WWE superstars together, the roster, the feuds, the championships, the weekly shows, and more. And when it comes to GM Mode, it does say that it's now featuring more GMs to choose from, additional show options, multiple seasons, expanded match cards, and more match types for up to four players. GM Mode has me interested this year a lot more than last year. I hope it has significant improvements that will have me coming back to it on a regular basis it is one of my favorite modes from the older games and the older generation. And the last thing that was revealed by 2K themselves was going to be this updated screenshot of the Bloodline. We have our first look at the Bloodline entrance, and there's a lot of great things in here in this one screenshot. Let's first talk about Roman Reigns holding up both titles, so it looks like with the Bloodline entrance specifically, we don't know for sure if Roman's solo entrance is gonna be fixed and updated from what we saw from the early preview footage. But at least for the full Bloodline entrance here, you are getting Roman Reigns with his double title entrance specifically for him. I love it. I love it so, so much. I also wanna pay attention to the reflections and the lighting here. It looks really great from the stage and the floor. Seeing that lighting reflection, it just adds more to it. It looks great. Paul Heyman has an updated model and a new scan, which is great news. And the Usos are also in here. And what's interesting is that they are both carrying different tag titles. Jimmy's got the Raw title, Jay's got the SmackDown title. The one thing I don't like here is the tag titles look tiny. I wish they were a lot bigger looking. They look really tiny around their waist. But it is interesting that they're both wearing different titles. They're not doing double titles, so... Based off this, doesn't look like we're gonna get double 
tag team titles for this entrance. That's a bummer, but it looks like you can make them double champs. And if you do, maybe it means that they're just going to each wear the different title belt. I'm okay with it. It's a small detail. I wish they were holding up double tag team titles. I hope it means that if I'm going to make any team double champ, that they're going to hold different title belt for their entrance. The other cool thing here is going to be the pyro that's included for the entrance. Thank goodness we're going to get the real pyro. And the updated Titan Tron for the Bloodline is included. And I believe that's all the way back for Survivor Series when they introduced the updated Bloodline Tron. So this screenshot alone, it makes me really happy because there's a lot of detail in here and they have nailed the Bloodline entrance. Yes, it's a shame that Solo isn't included or Sami Zayn. And it does mean that we're only getting trios with the entrance. And in this case, they did include Paul Heyman, so we are getting four. And honestly, I hope it means that they have fixed and updated Roman's double title entrance as he comes out alone. That disappointed me that he wasn't having anything specific to him. Maybe this indicates that they are gonna have it updated and he's not gonna come out to just a generic one. Thanks for watching and click right here if you want more WWE 2K23 news and updates and we'll have more information for you next week when all of the news starts dropping. See ya.